Hey guys, it's Trip Trace Movies, and today we're starting a brand new series. That being, you know, I've noticed whenever I try to go on Flash Player, it says Flash Player will no longer be supported after December 2020. So I thought, might as well make a series. Uh, right before Flash Player goes away, dedicating uh, how good or mediocre or terrible Flash games can be. I mean, Flash games can be ported to normal websites, but they're very hard to do. Uh, so, without further ado, let's begin this Flash Quest. So, the first game we're going to be taking a look at in this video is Radioactive Teddy Bear Zombies. This game is on a website that I played a lot in the computer lab at my school, Friv. The world of this game is overrun by radioactive teddy bears, and you as the player have to save your dad who is captured by the zombies. This game has some pretty good graphics for a flash game, and the sound effects are phenomenal. The story is also pretty good, too. You shoot the enemies with machine guns, which can be upgraded. You collect coins, coin bags, health packs, gun upgrades, and this pill item, which does seemingly nothing. Wonder how that one works. Anyway, pretty fun flash game, and an excellent way to start things off. Next is Xenos. I know this is a very fun one. I played quite a bit of this over quarantine, and got past the first boss on it. I really commend the story of this game. It really gives a great explanation as to what you have to do. And just listen to that soundtrack. It's excellent. I love the power-ups. They really enhance your abilities in every conceivable way. And this game has a save feature, something you don't see that often in a Flash game. Xenos, you really exceeded my expectations. One that a game that I don't have much to say about is Vampire Physics. It's an average game, decent graphics and all that. Okay. Does Sammy, do you have anything to say about it? Yeah, I actually have a lot to say about it. So, Vampire Physics is a really fun game. It's really fun to play. And I feel like it's a challenging enough that I'll like it, but easy enough that I won't feel frustrated. Is it like I want to win levels of hard? No. Okay. <clears throat> but sometimes I wasn't allowed to play Friv, so I turned to cool math games. One game I remember my friend Tristan playing during indoor recess on rainy days was Run 2. It has a cool wall latching mechanic, amazing 3D graphics, and two playable characters. Just all around, all around stellar game. Yeah. What do you have to say looking at the footage? regular skates. And finally, the last game I recorded footage for was Black and White, a multiplayer game. You can only interact with floors of your color, and you can jump on each other's heads. It has you getting to this door at the end of the level to beat it, and because it used WASD for its one player and the arrow keys for another, it's really intuitive for multiplayer play. Uh, for single player, I mean, you can't do single player, but, I mean, Sammy, what do you think about this game? No thoughts? Okay. Well, uh, this was Flash Quest Episode 1. Episode 2 is coming out soon. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smack the like button. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single Troy's Movies upload. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!